I saw somebody use this filter to make up a scary story, so we're gonna try it too. A story begins in a dark and scary barbecue restaurant with the main character, Derek, with his trusty elephant at his side. They had made the barbecue restaurant their homestead, defending from the attacks from the gators. As one of the gators came up to Derek's elephant named Henry, he said, hey, don't you come close to Henry, otherwise I'll hit you over the head with a iguana. But the gator snapped and took off Henry's ankle. And Henry the elephant said, oh, Derek, you gotta go on without me and take care of my zebras. Henry, I can't go without you. You're my, you're my G. I oh, know, Derek, but you gotta get to the penthouse without me. <laughs> Henry, you're the best gosh dang elephant I've ever known. And I'll be sure to take care of your zebras and your raccoons as well. <laughs> Appreciate that, Derek. Now go get to the penthouse and signal the eagles to get out of here. I will. And I'll tell them you sacrificed your life to save those morons back there. And off to the penthouse, Derek went on his trusty Subaru. He could see the penthouse in his sights, but the gators were hot on his tail. But then the Subaru engine gave up because there was a mouse stuck in the engine. Nothing else to do when feeling hopeless, he got out of the car and came face to face with Larry, his long lost lover. But there was no time to enjoy the reuniting of lovers because the gators had caught up to Larry and Derek, so they stood back to back wielding donuts, throwing donuts at the gators left and right. The gators got distracted, so they hopped in Larry's Chrysler and headed to the penthouse. But as they were running to the Chrysler, one of the gators grabbed Larry's ass. Larry screamed. Shit! Derek turned around, but it was too late. They had already eaten Larry like a biscuit. Derek couldn't stand to lose another loved one, so he just fell to his knees and accepted what was about to come. Death and more death. So he closed his eyes and prayed to Adele that he would be with his loved one soon. The end. Thanks for coming home to Boston with me to meet my cousin. Of course. And just a heads up, I might need to translate for him. He speaks another language? You could say that. Hey, Jen. Hey, Johnny, this is Katrina. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Katrina, it's a pleasure. You are wicked fine, I'm Hosey. He thinks you're hot and he calls dibs back off. Oh, I kid, come in. So what's new, Johnny? Ah, you'll never believe what happened to me last Saturday, okay? I get up in the morning, I take the tea to go meet up with McCarthy at Dunks, right places full of townies. Uh-huh. He took the subway to meet his friend for coffee. Oh. Uh. So we finish up, we get up to leave, and then we see this guy right in front of us steal this chick's pocketbook. And we say, no, sir, we chase the guy down to the car park, but he gets into his car like a bat out of hell, goes onto the rotary, and then onto the turnpike. But this guy doesn't even get a quarter mile before getting picked up by a state. He fucking <laughs> pisser. Right in front of us, I swear to God. <laughs> anyway, you guys go sit in the parlor. I'm going to go grab some potatoes and grind this for supper. <laughs> great, great, great. Oh, uh... They saw a girl get her purse stolen, so they chased him to the parking lot, and then he drove away and got pulled over by a cop. And we're having potatoes and sandwiches in the living room for dinner. Oh, <laughs> that's what I just f said. While everyone else is yes, partying, Chris, I'm doing up, this. Yeah, Chris, no, you guys oh, I'm up. about to chase a chicken. I'm about to go Rocky Balboa on this You gotta be like, hey, you're about to be, you're about to be you. so fast. Everybody's fine, okay? I just want to take you from behind. That's not. <laughs> 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 oh, what happens when I can it whip his head like a snake? Probably. I don't know how chicken snakes work. Uh, like little dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 Chris, are you okay? That was like a rogue, steroid-ridden chicken that came up. I am passing the phone to someone who thinks they're Draco Malfoy. I am passing the phone to someone who actually is Draco Malfoy. I am Draco Malfoy, and I'm passing the phone. Passing the phone to someone <laughs> that thinks they're Professor McGonagall. Oh, I'm sorry, did one of those Malfoys just say thinks they're Professor McGonagall? 50 points from Slytherin each. <laughs> When things at Hogwarts are going downhill very quickly, I often feel the urge to follow suit. 
Obviously, I would be recognised in the Highlands of Scotland, and so I head to my local muggle ski slope to keep a snow profile. And since it's nearly Halloween, I don't even have to muggle dress, which is very convenient. Now, despite being blessed with feline grace and agility, I'm not used to these silly muggle poles. But the snow must go on. It's not about how you stumble, it's about how you get back up. So you have to dust off your wizard flappers, get back on the broom, and let your magic do the talking. You've got to step up and have the Magona Gall and the Magona Gumption to send it every time. You raid the witch's broom. Raid the witch's broom. Even when times are tough and there's Death Eaters at every turn, you have to live like there's snow tomorrow. And now that that's all done and I've made a dent in the slope with my face, I'm gonna go back to Hogwarts and make a dent in my marking. See you later. I was tempted to say you can't be serious, but this is no time for jokes. I had got you this hat for when you were found not guilty, but I'll never be able to give it to you now. I suppose I could give it to Bellatrix, but honestly I'd rather get hit by the night bus. And I doubt it would fit on that bird nest anyway. No, serious, you and I did not always see eye to eye. Sometimes we fought like cats and dogs. Because we were. A cat and a dog. Oh, I knew right from the start that would be your form. Intelligent, loyal, and your mum was such a bitch. Considering that both of your parents had the same last name before they got married, you turned out incredibly well, and I am so very proud. Although, for a canine, can I say copycat? Nice of you to get Potter that expensive broomstick. I wonder where you got that idea from. But I'm not still bitter. I'm sure he'll name a child after both of us. Now, I've heard it on good authority that all dogs go to heaven, so you chase that stick over the rainbow broom. Bridge, buddy. Speaking of rainbows, happy Pride Month, Wolfstar forever. That's odd. Your cousin's giving me evils. I didn't even call an infidora. 